Hello everyone. So in this video, I am going to explain our list in Python. So let's start with this. What is list? It is a container which contains data of different type like a string, integer, plot, object, and it is mutable. So what does it mean? It simple mean like our uh, list is a container in that we can keep a uh, data of different type like we can keep. Uh, a string also we can keep integer as well as uh, we can keep plot we can also keep uh, any of the object like list tuple anything so let's say example so I am going to create a one list list so in that list first I will keep only integer so one two three is my integer so let's print this string list and then run this for one minute list user yes li is not defined sorry sorry i am so sorry i have done something wrong okay now we can see list has the integer value one two three so similarly way we can keep uh, a string also one sorry df jk now we can keep a string also same way we can keep a plot also so let's see example with plot so we can see uh, we can store multiple plots now let's see the example where we will have all the data types like plot integer string any object like uh, list only let's keep list inside list now we can see so we are able to keep almost all data types inside the list so what is the next section then uh, next is a uh, we can like variable we can create a empty list and then later we can add value to the list okay so and next is a uh, create multi-dimensional list so in this example only i just show you this is the example of multi-dimension also because inside the list i have one more list so how to access the data of list as well as multiple dimension uh, list i will show you now only so let me create one uh, blank list here so using this way i can create a blank list and then later we can append the data in the blank list so let's start to access the element from list so first we will uh, see uh, like we will access in a normal way then we will access uh, element from multi dimension list then we'll use a uh, negative indexing so let's start so okay so here we can see uh, like uh, in li list i have 1.21 gh3 pipe so i am going to access first list first element of the list li then i just need to give zero so zero means first element one means second element this is the one so let's access this one so we should get one so like that we can access uh, any of the element of the list so 0 1 2 3 let's see when i access 3 what we get so when i access 3 this is the third this list is the object and which is the third element of the list okay so how to access the like multi dimension like 3 and 5 value i will show but uh, let's finish uh, some another example now I want to say so the range so when I don't specify anything I just give a colon it means all the value okay so we can start specify start and end also just example I can I want to access from 2 to last so it's a starting from 2 0 1 2 gh then last is 3 5 okay so I want to start from 0 till uh, second element so 0 1 2 second means less than 1 0 
if I give 2 at the end, then what it will return? 0 and 1. So it's written 0 and 1. Now let's access a multi dimension list. So 0, 1, 2, 3. So at the 3 third index, we have the multi dimension. So now when I access li3, we can see 3, 5. So we will access similar way which we use in a list. So li3 itself is a list. So in li3, if I have to access 3, means 3 is at 0 position. So let's give the 0. I got 3. Now if I give 1, I will get 5. So this is the way we can access uh, data from multi-dimension list. First, uh, like, <coughs> sorry. So let's see now negative indexing. So in the list, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, but when we check in a reverse manner, what will happen? This is minus 1, this is minus 2, this is minus 3, this is minus 4, okay? So when I give minus 1, I will get the last one. Similarly, I can get a 0, like when I give minus 1 again, I will get 5. If I give minus 2, I will get 3. And if I give 1 also, I will get 5 because 0, this is 0, this is 1. Okay. So let's see some more example of negative indexing. List minus 1. Sorry, minus 2, I should get GH. This is minus 4. So I want to access from minus 4 to minus 3 minus 4 to minus 2 okay let's see so minus 4 this is minus 4 this is minus 3 minus sorry minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and this is minus 4 index so it started with minus 4 okay minus 3 and it is not returning gs because as i explained like minus 2 is the maximum index so it will fetch uh, before maximum like if i give 0 to 4 then it will fetch 0 1 2 3 not 4 so in a similar way when i do uh, like when i access using neg negative indexing it will work in the same way like my if i give minus 2 then it will work like minus 4 minus 3 when i give minus 1 then it will Page minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. So, when I, let me give minus 1 and see the result. So, we should get till here. If I remove this, we will get all the value. Okay. So, let's see another point. Now, uh, length of list. Okay. So, let's see the length of list now. And then we will take uh, input of Python list. Then we'll work on um, adding element to the Python list. Everything we will see. So let's see a uh, length of list. Length simply li. So four. Now another point is uh, how to take input as a list. And then a letter like will amend uh, element in the list and then we will work on removing element uh, from list. Uh, so we will see in the next video. Thank you.